Hey everyone, I'm back. This is part two. This was originally going to be a tutorial, but I had problems with the air dry clay. I was trying different recipes because I was just about out of gas, and I finally found one that I really, really, really like. So I'm good now, and if there's an interest, I will do a tutorial on these. Um, they're not without their problems. As I've learned, even with the DAS clay, and I'll show you that right now. So let me grab this. I'm sorry you're seeing the mess on my craft table. But okay, this is the one I did with the DAS. And still, as you can see right here, I'm having problems with it slipping. I've tried the glue. I've tried the glue and water. I've tried a lot of it. And I'm still working on it. But this one I did with the new air dry clay recipe I found, and I'm pretty happy with it. I think it turned out really, really cute. I kind of wanted it just to have that natural look, and I think I've pretty much achieved it. So I'm just going to turn it real slow so you can see it. A little bench out there for the little fairy or gnome or whoever lives there. I don't think it turned out too bad. Not really. And like I said, now that I've found an air dry clay recipe, I really like, and it works pretty good. It has its issues too with slipping, but I didn't really have a lot of it. And it's just simply because of good old gravity. Our friend. Yeah, not always. But anyway, that's the little fairy house. I'm going to pull back just a little bit so you can see the whole thing. My camera's about out of juice. If you're watching, if you're interested, please hit like and subscribe. If you'd like to see this done as a tutorial, I will gladly do that. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. And honestly, this was only my second one of these, and I am working on the DAS one. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's all. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.